What's up folks, how's it going? This is Wadge. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is Wadge from MW Technology. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the new generation of Logitech peripherals from the MX line, specifically the new MX Master 3S mouse, as well as the MX Mechanical Keyboard. Now, first thing I wanna talk about the new mouse. It's gonna eventually replace all the current versions of the MX Master 3 that got launched back in 2019. And since that time, it's been one of my go-to mouse for general computing needs, whether that be productivity related, creative or a business it's a great workhorse and ergonomically it's arguably one of the best things that you can put on your desk luckily the master 3s is visually and functionally identical to the previous iteration with only a two significant improvements one is the new 8000 dpi sensor compared to the 4000 dpi sensor that's going to give you a greater sensitivity range and that might be beneficial for people using larger resolution displays or a multi-display setup Secondly, probably the most dramatic change is regarding the quiet click switches. They've essentially replaced all of the main switches on the mouse to be quiet click, where you do not hear a distinctive click sound when you initiate any kind of mouse command, whether that's primary click, secondary click, or gesture control. Now this obviously favors a more quiet workspace environment where you don't want others to hear your mouse clicks, whether physically present or during a call conference. And according to Logitech, the Master 3S is about 90% quieter than the Master 3. And to give you guys a little ASMR, you can hear the difference for yourself. Now, even though the switch itself is quite quiet, you do still have a nice amount of travel distance and tactile feedback. So the feeling that you get from clicking a primary or secondary button is still there. So for people wanting that physical tactile sensation that they got from the Master 3, it's still pretty much there on the 3S. Now, for those of you that actually prefer the click, unfortunately, Logitech plans to phase out the Master 3 and replace it with mostly 3S models. So if you do want that clicky sensation, you probably want to hold on to the Master 3. Otherwise, uh, go for the 3S if you want a quieter mouse. Apart from the upgraded sensor and the quiet click, the 3S has all the same functionality as the 3. So you have 70 day battery in life with mixed usage you have fast charging capabilities with one minute charge will get you three hours of use time same 1500 milliamp hour battery inside you have identical left right and gesture control button configuration as well as the electromagnetic scroll wheel which allows you to switch from click to click to hyper fast scrolling now, connectivity wise, you still have universal Bluetooth compatibility with every operating system you can think of, including Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome OS, etc. And you also have the Logitech Bolt USB dongle, which allows you to connect up to three different devices to the mouse. Now, upon the initial launch of the Master 3S, there isn't a specific version that's branded for Mac like we had with the previous Master 3, where you had a silver accent on the mouse as well as different packaging sold in at the Apple Store. That will probably be available in the very near future, uh, but the Master 3S has full compatibility with Mac OS X. Just doesn't have the specific branding as you expect for the 4 Mac version. Now moving right along, let's talk about the MX Mechanical Keyboard. It basically follows the form and function of the previous MX keys available from Logitech, a more business general day-to-day -day use keyboard, but fits in an array of mechanical keyboard switches that you would typically find on a gaming keyboard, giving you that same tactile feedback and sensation that gamers are very familiar with and want to bring that feeling and sensation and experience to their work-related realm. Now there are three switch types available, including a brown tactile quiet, a blue clicky, and a red linear switch. Now we got to test out the brown and the blue. The brown switch is an excellent compromise for anybody trying to get into mechanical keyboards, wanting that tactile manual feedback that you get from a real switch, but want to reduce as much ambient noise as possible in order to avoid disturbing others or letting people know that you're typing on your keyboard during a video call. 
Now, depending on your typing stall, i.e. on how hard you press in your keys, a brown switch is going to be still a little bit louder than most of your rubber dome switches that you find for most business keyboards, but still way quieter than a full mechanical blue switch, which actually has a distinct clicky sound that you can hear and feel when you initiate each key command. And that is to the point where an actuation point is initiated, giving you the most tactile, the most potentially gratifying mechanical keyboard experience possible. Moreover, I bet most people are gonna pick the red switch due to its uninterrupted key travel linear dynamics, as well as a minimal force required to initiate each keystroke for ultra fast and smooth typing. Now specifically, as far as the switches go themselves, they're actually manufactured by Kale. They're utilizing their second generation low profile mechanical switches, similar to what we found on the G15 mechanical gaming keyboard by Logitech. But with the addition of a second cross stem inside the switch, 1.3 millimeter actuation point, and a shallower keycap design makes the overall thickness of the MX mechanical extremely low profile. In fact, compared to the MX keys, you're only looking looking at about a six millimeter difference from a thickness perspective. Furthermore, the general layout, key spacing, and overall key configuration of the MX Mechanical is well thought out, evenly spaced and generously proportioned, while still having a very minimalistic chassis, taking up as little desktop space as possible. And speaking of footprint, you do also have a mini variant of the MX Mechanical, which doesn't have a number pad. Excellent for people that want to maximize as much desktop real estate as possible and don't require that number pad. Now the board is LED backlit. It has a number of different illumination options, including a static, breathing, contrast, wave, reactive, as well as a random configuration. You can adjust the brightness levels either on the keyboard itself or on the software. There's also smart illumination options options where the keyboard will obviously dim and turn off once inactive in order to save battery life, but we'll turn the backlight on right away as soon as you start approaching the keyboard with your hand, uh, thanks to the sensors that are around the perimeter of the keyboard. So you don't actually even have to click the keyboard to turn on the backlight. It will know when you're coming. Lastly, in terms of the battery, we have a 1500 milliamp hour non-user replaceable battery inside the keyboard. Logitech claims it should be good for the life of the keyboard or five years approximately. And in terms of the battery life itself with continuous usage, with the backlight turned all the way up in static mode, you can get up to 15 days and up to 10 months with the backlight off. Pretty darn impressive, even compared to the MX keys, which had a 10 day battery life with a backlight on and a five month battery life with backlight off. Lastly, compatibility and connectivity options are the same as found on the mouse. So you have Bluetooth connectivity, universal operating system uh, compatibility, and uh, the option to connect up to three devices using the Logitech Bolt USB dongle. Now I've been daily driving uh, the new generation MX peripherals for the past couple of weeks, but having a lot of fun with it, super comfortable to use and probably gonna be my go-to for most of my day-to-day -day related tasks. I wanna thank Logitech so much for supplying us these review samples if you have any specific questions definitely let me know check out the description down below for more details about pricing availability things like that i want to thank you guys so much for watching continuing to support the channel if you haven't done so already please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications we'll see you real soon in the next one and take care